I am buying a scope. It's a true work of art. Subtle frames and a beautiful aiming point. Yes, and it looks lively on the gun. But here I walk around and realize that Nikita stole my point. What the hell? Let Calimatis be very pleasant at the moment. And it's just incredible to play with them indoors. But aiming at enemies while on the street due to all the surrounding snow is terrible. Initially, it seemed to me like a small problem. I'm not stupid and I understand that you need to aim roughly in the center of the scope, right? It could have worked if it weren't for the damn inertia. Whether you like it or not, the barrel and aiming point will deviate. And if the dot doesn't contest at all against the white snow, you won't be able to adjust your shooting. Holographs could have come to the rescue. Yes, there's a downside with thicker frames. However, the dot is very, very contrasting, which is naturally a plus. But look at their prices, they are literally several times more expensive. And it's unclear for what reason. Even the awful 553 costs more than 35,000. I don't even know how I got to this point. Thanks to some subcutaneous reflexes, the integrated taco code in my DNA just told me what to do. At first, subscribe to the channel. And then start playing with a large lens, meaning use optical scopes with a 1x mode. Usually, they have a very bright dot. What's more, there are additional lines that won't let you get lost. However, there are some problems. Firstly, no matter which one you take, each one costs crazy money. So, among adequate options, it's only worth using the l -can. I buy it either from the third piece keeper or the fourth. Yes, the cost is the same as when taking a holograph, but you get an advantage because you can shoot at the long distances, which at least justifies the price. Also, of course, you can use quas. That is used to replenish your hydration. Leave one unit, collect three bottles. And having dealt with a second Jäger, exchange it for attack 30. The next point, optics have their problems. It takes a certain amount of time to enter the scope. And in the case of calimeters or holographs, it doesn't feel the same as when using the same optical scope. So for us, the critical parameter called ergonomics is essential. If you use submachine guns, AK-545, there won't be problems with that. But if you assemble the M4 incorrectly or take the long G36 and then the game begins, the gameplay will not seem comfortable to you. Above all, ergonomics are cut due to large magazines, long barrels and suppressors. So you'll have to sacrifice something from this, but it's better to give up everything at once. If you are already taking a suppressor for the M4, it's better to take a mini monster. It's very good in terms of ergonomics. Don't forget to install the rear and front sides. Pay attention to how much ergonomics each magazine gives. And again, base your builds on shorter barrels. Fortunately, in this vibe you can feel comfortable even with not the best recall values. When you achieve high ergonomics, you'll enter the scope very quickly. You'll like it. And most importantly, you'll gain advantages. You'll be able to defeat enemies at a distance, even in long dormitory corridors. It can be very useful. I've voiced everything I wanted. It's your time to voice your thoughts in the comments. Give a like, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching until the end. See you next time. Good luck.